All right, uh, greetings, greetings, everyone. It's Mr. Shajoy here. Welcome to Back to Basics. What we are doing now is basically we are looking at our analytical geometry, right? Or rather, our Euclidean geometry. And we are looking at our grade uh, 10 paper. I think this is going to be what? This is going to be our November 2018. How to get? So that's going to be the paper that we are looking at now to see in terms of what is that we can do here. Now, the first question is uh, under our Euclidean geometry. They say now we need to complete the statement so that it is true. So they state that now the line drawn from the midpoint of one side of the triangle parallel to the what to the second side, what does it do? So basically from, uh, isn't it that from uh, your... A midpoint theorem, right? We are. Uh, it states that uh, this when you draw this line here to here, it's going to be what? It's going to be half, or rather, it's going to be this line here. It's going to be half this particular line, right? So, which means what is going to be now the correct statement there? It's going to be bisect the third side, right? The correct statement here. It's going to bisect the third side. Oh, to get so basically, that is going to be the correct statement here that. We are going to write for this particular thing. Now, uh, 7.2, they say now, AC, what? ACS is a triangle. P is a point on AS, and R is a point on AS, such that your PSRQ is a what? Is a parallelogram. PQ intersect uh, AC at B, such that B is a midpoint of AR. Now, they say QC is joined also. Now they've given us that uh you what your line the CR, which is going to be this one, which is this particular red line here. Your line CR is equal to what is equal to your PS, right? Which means basically it's this one. Right? Now, so what is it that uh, we are going to do again? They are saying they are giving us that our angle C1, this particular angle here, it is going to be close to 50 degrees. And what is it that they are giving us? Okay, they're saying BP is equals to 60 millimeters. Now, what is it that you are going to do? The first question is, they want us to calculate what is going to be the size of A. Now, how can we go about in calculating the size of A? This is going to be simple, right? Now, in order for you to calculate uh, for the size of A, you are going to start here. Now, you are going to say, for an example, to calculate your A, you can start by saying, if let's say you look at your CR, right? So can you see, you can start by saying, look, uh, my side CR is going to be close to my side PS, right? In that case, this one is given, isn't it that this one is given, right? So which means now, what is it that I want you to take note? And again, now I, I am going to say, look, and also now my QR, can you see that the QR here? Uh, my QR is also going to be equal to what? QR is also going to be close to my PS. And then what is going to be the reason behind that? Now, this is going to be uh, what? Uh, this is going to be uh, your opposite sides of a palm. How to get PS is going to be close to QR. This is going to be uh, opposite side. This is going to be your opposite side of a what? Of a palm. Right, which is going to be a parallelogram, right? Oh, it's okay. Now that's going to be this one. Remember, they've already told us that this are uh, here your QPSR is a parallelogram. So opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Now, so what does this mean? So which means uh, automatically this side your QR, your QR, it is going to be equals to your what your CR. Can you see that? Because both of them are equal to the same thing. Oh, it's okay. Uh, now, therefore, now from here, what does that mean? So, which means now we can start by saying, look, now, therefore, our angle Q1, my angle Q1 is going to be close to my angle C1. This is going to what? These are angles that are opposite to equal side. Isn't it so? This is going to be an angle uh, opposite equal side. Oh, okay. Angles that are opposite to equal side, they are also going to be equal, right? So, which means, therefore, my angle Q1 is going to be also 50 degrees, right? Now, after that, what is it that I can uh, now uh, take from here? 
I am going to say, look now, as soon as I found my angle, what Q1, what is it that I'm going to do? I'm going to say my angle R3, right? I want you to look at this particular angle R3 here. Now, uh, my angle R3, my angle R3, can you see that if this is the triangle, right? If this is the triangle, if this is the triangle, right? Now, can you see that uh, our angle R3 is going to be the exterior angle of a triangle, right? And what is it that we know about an exterior angle of a triangle? It is that it is equal to the interior opposite angle, which means your angle R3 is going to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to your angle Q1 plus your angle C1, which means your... Uh, then the reason here, it's going to be the exterior angle of a what? Of a triangle. That's going to be the reason. Right? And then now, which means now your angle R3 is going to be given by 100 degrees. Oh, to get angle R3 is going to be given by 100 degrees. Now, uh, what is it that you know you are going to say from here? Now, then you are going to say, look, my angle R3, can you see that your angle R3, if I start here now, if I start here, right? I start here, I go this way, right? And I come back this way. Can you see that? This angle here is going to be close to my angle R3. Why? These are going to be alternating angles, right? So my angle R3 is basically going to be close to my angle A. These are going to be alternating angles. Why are they alternating? Remember this, they said this is a parallel uh, parallelogram, which means this line here is parallel to this one, right? So which means when I draw my Z from here, can you see that these angles are going to be alternating, right? So which means therefore from here, what is that I'm going to say? I am going to say my angle uh, A is going to be close to 100 degrees, right? Because you are, what was it there? Your QP, uh, your QP is parallel to what? It's parallel to PS. How to get? So basically, that is uh, the reason for us to find that as being 100, right? Hopefully, this now makes sense to you now. Uh, let's look at our 7.2.1 and see in terms of what is it that we can do from there, right? Now, in that one, they want us to find out what is going to be the length of what? Of QRP, right? Let's just erase this and see. So now from here, uh, we are going to say, look, let's just erase also here, right? Now, to find out what is going to be our QP, what is it that you are going to do? This one is going to be very easy now. Isn't it that we know that uh, our what? Uh, you are going to say your what? If you can look at your uh, this particular thing, right? Uh, if you can look at your AP, right? Can you see that your AP uh, is going to be close to what? Your AP is going to be close to your PS. Can you see that? Yes, your side AP is going to be close to your side PS. And what is going to be the reason behind that? This is going to be uh, because of what line from midpoint to one side of the triangle, right? So, or you can just simply say uh, midpoint, right? Midpoint. Let's get this is going to midpoint theorem, right? Remember, midpoint theorem states that if this line here is parallel to this one, then therefore this side here is going to be close to this side, right? Now, what else then are you going to say from here, right? And now you are going to say uh, after that, uh, can you see that your RS, right? Uh, your RS is going to be close to what? Uh, your RS or rather your uh, BP, your RS now here, your RS since these sides are parallel towards each other, what is that is going to happen? And we are given that this is your midpoint. Your line RS, your line RS, it is going to be equal to what? Your line RS is going to be two times our BP, this is still going to be our midpoint theorem, right? This is still going to be midpoint theorem because this side here uh, is going to be what is going to be half this particular side, right? So which means now your RS is going to be close to 120 millimeters, right? Uh, now, but now what is it that you are going to de uh, do from here? Uh, now, in order for you to find out what is going to be your QP, then you're going to say, look, my QP, uh, my RS is equal to what? My RS is equal to my QP. What is going to be re the reason there? This is going to be uh, the opposite side of a what? Of your palm, right? The opposite side of your parallelogram. 
how to get. So which means therefore your site what? Therefore your QP in this case is going to be also given by what? 120 millimeters. Oh, it's okay. Hopefully now this makes sense to you now.